guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going over the best products of 2019. Now, some of these products you may have already experienced or used in years past, but personally, these are the first time, this is the first year that I have tried these products and I've absolutely loved them. So they might not all be products that came out in 2019, but they're all products that I learned to love this year. This video is going to encompass all things beauty, including skincare, makeup, hair, body lotion, all of the good stuff. We're getting into anything related to beauty, so I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy, so we're just going to get on right into the video. Alright, so first we're going to start off with skincare, which is really, really essential in your beauty routine, so that's why we're going to start with it. These two products really, really, really impressed me this year. Um, this is the Pacifica Rose Kombucha Flower Powered Face Wash and also the Pacifica Dreamy Youth Day and Night Cream. Um, this is a moisturizer, this is a face wash, and I found that both of these products really helped my skin kind of even out in texture and also um, reduce breakouts and acne. So these two things I've really been enjoying and loving. It's vegan and cruelty free, and they use a lot of natural products in their brand. So these two definitely have made their mark in 2019. The next big skincare thing that I've learned to love is the Thayer's Facial Toner. This has the Witch Hazel and it's the Rose Petal um, version. They have a lot of different um, scents to them, but the Rose Petal one is my favorite. I love rose infused skincare products. This one specifically I use with a cotton pad before I moisturize my face. I usually will wash my face then put this on and then moisturize to kind of just set it all in and I've really been loving this. I've noticed that my skincare has also um, had less blemishes with this which is really a plus. I talked about this product before in my skincare favorites and it is still a favorite. I love it so much. I've gone through two of these little bottles. They do have bigger sizes but these ones are a little more compact so it makes it easier to just store and travel with but overall really love this product so much. The last skincare item I have to share with you guys is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Now, I know this is a fan favorite for many, many people, and I absolutely love this. I received this in an Ipsy package, and it has made a huge difference when I apply it. it my skin is so much softer when I apply it at night, and then I wake up in the morning. It's just a really, really nice texture. And if you haven't noticed, I like skincare products that help reduce the texture of my face and just soften it. Um, because my face is acne prone so this is a really great product if you're looking for something to just kind of soften the skin and smooth things out a bit so highly recommend this one for you. and now it's time for makeup which is my favorite part I love finding new makeup products and this year I found a lot that I really really love so I'm excited to share with you guys what they are the first is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour wear foundation this should be no surprise I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have this in their favorites video of the year because this foundation is amazing you cannot beat the price or the finish of it and it lasts so long I don't know if it lasts 24 hours I haven't worn it for 24 hours but I can definitely tell you if I put it on in the morning it wears super well throughout the day um, and by the end of the day it doesn't look cakey and it's not balling up it's not scrunching in a certain place where I don't want it to so this product is absolutely amazing I highly recommend it I actually have bought it in two shades this is the shade that I wear when I'm a little more tan <laughs> and we'll get into the tan later but this is the shade when I fake tan and then I also have used up the entire bottle of the one where that's like my natural shade where it's like super pale <laughs> but this is a great one it's super inexpensive compared to lots of high-end foundations and the formula is amazing it has a pump which is awesome and mine is a little dirty but that's okay it's totally worth the money and even if you find it on sale which is amazing they have tons of sales at Ulta and CVS and pretty much any drugstore all the time so if you can find it when there's like a buy one get one half off or when you have a gift card definitely give this one a try it's amazing and I've loved it throughout this year another face product that I've really loved this year is concealer and specifically it's the Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer that's it's supposed to last 12 hours and I have it in two different shades it also claims to be waterproof and non-transferable which I actually agree with because I've noticed that it really stays on throughout the day and it doesn't transfer 
anywhere. Like if I go to hug someone, I don't find it like transferring onto their jacket or anything, which is helpful. <laughs> I have it in the shade Light Natural and Rosy Ash. The Light Natural one I use under my eyes and then Rosy Ash I'll use to contour. And it gives a really nice subtle contour, plus it gives a nice highlighting effect. And you can also get it in a shade that matches your skin tone perfectly to cover any blemishes. The coverage is great, the formula is great, the colors are great. You just can't make this concealer. And it is so inexpensive, guys. You can find this at the drugstore for super cheap price. Um, I usually buy mine at Ulta, and the last time I was there, I got this concealer for $3. $3, like... Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's so amazing, and I love this concealer, guys. You can't beat it. It's amazing. You'll love it. Go ahead and give it a try. Next is another face product that I've been loving this year, and I actually tested this out in my NYX Best of Beauty, so be sure to check that video out. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, and it comes in this little compact like this, and then in the bottom, it has like a little powder puff thing that comes with it, which usually I don't use, but with this I like to use it because it gives the best coverage instead of with the brush, and if you check out the video you'll understand why. <laughs> but I like to use this product especially in areas where the concealer um, is not fully concealing everything, and if I'm having like a really bad redness day or like an acne day where just things are too red and I just... It's not working for me. I will take my finger with this product and then just like dab it on the specific areas. If you heard that, that was my cat. <laughs> she is loud today. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, back to the video. I will take uh, yeah, my finger and just dab this onto areas and it totally covers any kind of extra redness. So that's a trick for you. If you're struggling with your foundation and concealer just not doing the trick and there's still redness, take a powder foundation, specifically this one, and just blot it on those areas and it should really, really help also. Alright, next I'm going to talk about one of my favorite highlighters I found recently, but I've been using it every single day, almost. So, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It gives a super nice little highlight. I just swatched it on the back of my hand for you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very natural highlight, and I really love it because I can wear it on an everyday basis, and it's not going to leave a crazy streak or something super noticeable that I don't like. So this is a great one if you're looking for a natural everyday highlight, and it's also super inexpensive. So. Okay, so next we're going to move on to eyebrows. Now this eyebrow routine I have had for the past probably six months. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. And this is the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Taupe. Now this has more of like a brow gel, and it has little fibers inside of it. And then obviously this one is just a regular pencil, but these two together make my brows look like super lovely and volumized, which I tend to like in brows. I like them to look natural, but still to be filled in and looking a little volumized. So brows tend to go a little crazy, so it's helpful that I have a brow gel that helps them to stay in place throughout the day. And these two are both inexpensive also, and I really love the tone and shade of them, which is hard to find for me because my hair is definitely a unique color. It's not like a brown or a blonde, which I find typically those are easier to find in eyebrow pencils or shades or products. Um, but this is really helpful because I have like blonde and red in my hair and in my eyebrows. So finding a pencil that really helps match those things is awesome. And this does it for me and I love that it's inexpensive. So highly recommend these two. Alright, so moving on to eyes, I have loved this primer. This is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer. I'm almost out of it, which makes me so sad, but I love this because it gives a really nice sticky base for the eyeshadow to cling to. If you don't like eyeshadow bases that are a little on the stickier side, you probably won't like this one, but for me, I like it because it makes me feel like the eyeshadow is actually clinging to my eyelids. It's not overly sticky to where it's going to be bothersome after you like apply eyeshadow to it, but initially it's a little on the tacky side, so if you don't like that, don't get this, but if you want an eyeshadow base that's really going to stick um, your eyeshadow on throughout the day, this is a great one for you. And I have to mention this, this is like the most honorable mention thing ever, this is the Wet n Wild 
single eyeshadow in brulee. I have absolutely loved this throughout the year. As you can see, I've hit pan quite a bit on this and I probably need to get a new one. I've actually been using the Tati Beauty Texture Neutrals Volume 1 palette recently. The Aura Matte Shade has kind of replaced this a little bit, but it's still a tried and true. And I've used this for most of the year, so this one is definitely one I wanted to mention. The Tati Beauty palette is really great also, um, but I haven't used that one for very long, so I wanted to recommend this one first and then just kind of give like an honorable mention to that. Um, if you want to see me trying out the Tati Beauty palette, I do have a video about that, so be sure to check it out. If you're looking for a single eyeshadow that's great for an everyday and you are a similar skin tone to mine, this one will be great for you. So for mascara, I wanted to bring up two mascaras. One is high-end, one is drugstore. The first one is the Essence um, Princess or Lash Princess in Waterproof Mascara, and then the next one is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Now, the difference in these two, this one obviously is waterproof, but I find that the wand really helps volumize my lashes. If you're looking for a waterproof mascara, this one is your go-to. Honestly, it's cheap. You cannot beat the price. It will keep your lashes very volumized throughout the entire day, and you won't have any like runniness or anything because it's waterproof. That claim is accurate, but for this one, I find that is volumizing, but more so it's separating and lengthening my lashes, so it's kind of a different purpose than this one, and it's not waterproof, so I can wear this one more on an everyday basis, whereas this one I wear more for special occasions. So I kind of alternate these two mascaras throughout the year, just depending on the day and what I have planned, so if, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for just a good mascara for an everyday, this one will do you. This is the one I have on the eyelashes right now. Um, but if you're looking for a waterproof mascara, I recommend getting this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara in waterproof. You can also get the um, non-waterproof version. That one is good, but I think I just like this one better. All right, and moving lastly in the makeup section to lips. Now, I have a fun product to share with you, and this may not be your average favorites of the year, but for me, I have loved this Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Therapy Treatment. I've used quite a bit of it. It's definitely been loved. <laughs> I apply this almost every day, either in the morning or the night. It just depends on how my lips are doing, and it has really changed how moisturized my lips are. I do occasionally suffer from dry lips, but every time I use this, it's really helped just moisturize them. Um, and this is really, really great. For example, if you're going through any kind of Accutane or acne treatment where your um, skin is on the drier side, when I did that, I loved this stuff. I like went through so much of it. So if you're looking for something that will help your lips, whether you're going through medication or you are just have chapped lips in general, this stuff is really, really great. and It'll totally soothe any chappedness you have or dryness. And if I had to pick one lipstick, let me just tell you, over the last year or even two years or three years, like I've been loving this lipstick for so long. This is a liquid lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. I have gone through like four of these. Like I love this stuff so much and I can wear it any single day with any single makeup look. It is so versatile. It lasts really well. It fades nicely throughout the day, but honestly, at the end of the day, you're still going to have color on your lips because that's how good this stuff is. You can eat pretty much anything and it'll still have this color on you. <laughs> so it is really, really great and flattering. If you have a skin tone similar to mine, you will probably really love this. And if you like lip liquid lipsticks and you haven't given this one a try, definitely be sure to do so. It won't steer you wrong. Now, if I have to do a product of the year for makeup, this will be it. Let me just tell you, I have used almost the entire thing. This is the Milani All Natural 04 Lip Liner. Let me just, I can't even tell you how amazing this stuff is. Clearly, I love it a lot because I've used so much of it. Oh my goodness, you guys, if you guys have lips that are on the lighter side and you are looking for a good lip liner that can really go with any kind of lip color, this is your best bet. I love it so much. This I've been using at least 
I mean, I'm sure every single day because I love this stuff so much. I can count on it. It lasts really well. It lines my lips really well. I can wear it by itself. I can wear it with a gloss on top. I can wear it with any lipstick on top. I just really love this stuff. And if you're looking for something that's just super versatile as a lip liner, this one will do ya. It's always flattering on me in any kind of makeup that I have on throughout the day and I think that's why I like it so much because I can just trust that I can put this one on and I don't have to worry about anything looking funky. So, love this for sure and I already bought a backup so you know I'm going to be using it in the new year. Alright, moving along into hair care. Let me just tell you, you think you know what's coming if you've been watching my videos. This is the generic volumizing root lifter. I've gone through probably eight of these bottles throughout the years. I've used this since middle school. Every single day I put this in my hair and it's amazing. It adds volume to your hair. It's not sticky or crinkly or anything weird or gross. It just does what it says it's supposed to do, which makes it wonderful and I love it so much. Um, it's just fabulous if you need volume in your hair. You'll love this. There's so many good things to say about it, but really, you can find it at Sally's Beauty Supply for, I think, about $8, and it will last you so many months. So, this is just a really, really great product overall, and I think you guys will like it. Another great hair product I've been using is the Wet Brush. Um, it's amazing. It's the foldable one, and I use this specifically when my hair is wet, but you can use it when it's dry too. I talked about this more in my favorite hair products, which was my last video, so be sure to check that one out. I'll go more in depth about it, but this one I've been loving and I've used it every single day that my hair is wet. <laughs> um, it's great to brush out any products through or just on its own. It's fabulous. So if you're looking for a good brush for wet hair, this one is amazing. Okay, so the last category I want to go through is skincare and I am a fan of Bath and Body Works. I live for all of their stuff. Their candles, their car scents, their wallflowers, anything related to Bath and Body Works I absolutely love. Um, but this smell or line I guess in particular is the aromatherapy line and it's in the stress relief. I just love the smell of eucalyptus and spearmint together. I use this lotion every day when I'm going out of the shower, I put it on, and um, it's just really nice because it adds lots of softening factors to your skin, and it is super quick drying, so you don't have to worry about getting sticky on your clothes, or if you're going to bed, like in your sheets or anything, it's not going to be gross like that, but it adds a lot of moisture. If you're looking for a good lotion, this is really great. And then, the Stress Relief Body Scrub, guys, oh my gosh, this is great right before you're trying to apply self tan, which I'm going to get into in just a second. Um, this is amazing. Or if you want to do like a spa day for yourself, this scrub is just so luxurious and lovely. And I love the smell of it and it works really well paired with the other lotions. So highly recommend this if you're looking for a good exfoliating scrub for sure. Alright, so this is the last product I'm going to share with you guys for the year of 2019. It is so lovely. I'm just telling you, I've tried a couple of self-tanners. This one is fabulous. This is the St. Moritz Tanning Mousse in the shade Medium. And I don't really want to get the shade light because I'm already like super light, but the shade Medium is just a perfect in-between for me. I've noticed that when I use this self-tan, it just goes on really smooth. It's not streaky if you apply it correctly, and it's definitely very forgiving. It does have a color guard on it so you know where you're applying it, which I really like. They have a lot of different options. They have, I think, the self-tan express one also, which I want to give a try, um, but I'm going to go through this one first. I've tanned three times with this, and I still have about half a bottle left, so I think that's pretty good. It's super inexpensive. I think it's only $12, and you can find it at Ulta. Um, this self-tan is really great. I'll put a, a picture of, like, a professional photo of when I use this so you can see what it looks like in photography right now. And I highly recommend this. It's really, really great. Um, it's fabulous. So, definitely a, 
Love this one. Alright guys, that is all of the products I have been loving and using in the year 2019. They're all the standout ones that I think are fabulous that you should invest in in the new year and also the ones that I'm probably going to continue to use in the new year. I can't wait for more products to come out for me to try and to recommend and to test out on this YouTube channel. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Natalie Aaron Beauty, and also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any more content below one of your favorite products for this year. I'd love to hear about it and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!